Now, <laughs> now that's good YouTube. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Keeping Up With Kiana. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. If you guys cannot tell by the title already, today we are going to be talking about The Cube. I have a special guest, Eli here. <laughs> and we are going to be doing a little Q&A, show you guys some behind the scenes, talk to you guys more about our experience on The Cube, and just have a good time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We are going to go ahead and get into the Q and A. This one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first question that we have gotten this question probably about a thousand times since the trailer came out. For sure. Literally forever. Literally. Everybody wants to know, how did you guys get on the show? <laughs> I don't know if you want to answer this or not, but... Well, you I'm going to let you really explain it, but let me first say before she explains it, there was a thing on their website, which of course we didn't know about because this is not how we got on the show, mm -hmm. where you could submit an application for you to audition to be on the show. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. one of the casting agents or, you know, whatever, found Kian on Instagram, they DM'd her in. Yeah, so they actually DM'd me on Instagram and I'll go ahead and put like the picture somewhere on the screen. But they DM'd me on Instagram and what's crazy is that it was actually in my message request because the lady that DM'd me, she did not follow me. So like right. I didn't see the message for maybe about a week or so. Mm -hmm. And then even when I seen it, I thought like I showed Eli and I was like, hey, like look this girl DM me and I was like, I look you think it's fake, but like I don't know what should I do. That's gonna be a reoccurring <laughs> right? uh, theme in this video. <laughs> I think it's fake. Right. <laughs> exactly. So I thought it was fake and I like read it and I didn't respond for like a couple of days and then I was like, you know what? Like it's not gonna hurt if we respond back. Let's just respond back, see what she says, and kind of go from there. So right. that's initially how we got on the show. We weren't sitting here. Like, actually, I don't think, have you ever thought about being on a game show like this? Nah, not really. I mean, we've done other things like being the audience. Uh, yeah. like we've been to, uh, what is that thing called? Divorce hot board. ones. Oh, yeah. Hot we've, ones. You know, we've been yeah. to divorce for because they pay us. <laughs> <laughs> We've right. been, you know, we go, go, we've been to Wendy, yeah. you know, we do stuff like that, but yeah, as we far as- professional audience members. Literally, like. <laughs> no, quite literally. But we never, I never really thought about, I didn't think that this was the avenue that I wanted to go in, um, right, to be on by TV. actually being on a game show. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Yeah, we definitely did not think about it at all. But um, yeah, so that's essentially how we got on the show. They reached out to us on Instagram and we just followed up. Once I messaged her back on Instagram, I want to say she called us like the next day possibly. Oh yeah, oh um, yeah. Called us the next day and kind of was just trying to get like some background. Like, okay, so if you do get on the show, do you have anyone that you want to go with? And I was like, of course, you know, like I'll take Eli on the show. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> right. And that's how I got on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I was like, I'll take Eli, you know? So we got on a series of calls. She reached out, um, did she send us something to fill out or no? Like an application? I think so, yeah. I don't we remember. We don't remember everything. Cause I don't remember, because this was, this started probably. <laughs> last year this time, I feel like. Okay, so yeah. July of last year. Yeah. So she put us on a Zoom call with the producers. Mm -hmm. And the cool part about this was, um, they gave, you know, there was one person before we got on with the producers, mm -hmm. basically training us, telling us exactly what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. So she went through that phase, um, talking to the producers, and we didn't hear anything for what, a month? I don't know, yeah, it was a while. <laughs> yeah. But then we finally heard something back, and then this was a different person than mm -hmm. we had contact the first time. Right, we thought it was gonna be kind of like a follow-up thing, like, okay, we spoke with this lady, right. this is who we're gonna speak with again. Right. It was not like that at all. Exactly. So, um, so that's basically how that went. Um, basically say that it's like a Monday. They're like, okay, hey y'all, we need these videos basically by Tuesday. Coming up with different like videos and stuff. Exactly. Like, it was just low-key a lot. <laughs> exactly. And I'm, at this point, we think it's a scam. So we emailed them right. back <laughs> and we say, hey guys, you know, thank you guys for the, uh, for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. However, comma, right. we will not 
be participating, participating anymore yeah. you know you know keep us in mind in the future maybe maybe mm -hmm. not <laughs> right <laughs> we'll let you know we will <laughs> let you know <laughs> but we're not going to participate and basically they emailed us back and said you know just get the videos in whenever you can yeah. they don't got to be there tomorrow no. but right. up, up until this point at this point like we really thought it was fake like we had talked to different people on the phone every time we got on the zoom call it was different people all the time so every i'm sitting here like time. and then by that point we had kind of like filled out some paperwork and i was like eli i said we didn't give these people all of our information oh, <laughs> i said this might be a scam and at the point at that time like you couldn't google like the cube usa like there was no press nobody exactly you know? No. So we were just out here like winging it, honestly, and literally. trusting God. I guess. I mean, trusting <laughs> the Lord, because right. we literally thought it was a scam all the way up until we had to take a COVID yeah. test at the studio the day before um, our scheduled date. Yes, yeah, and I actually chill. have a clip of us going to the um, COVID to get our COVID test because mm -hmm. once we like. Like we said, like we've been in like audiences and stuff like that before. So once we got to the studio here in Atlanta, like we were like, oh, okay, cool. Like we've been here before. Mm -hmm. Like maybe it's not a scam. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> really feel like this is it was a God thing, thing because yeah. even when before we decided to do it again, mm -hmm. um, Kiana wasn't for it. She said, hey, I don't know. Yeah. I said, I don't know, Kiana. Like, me, like I kind of like. I have a bad feeling, but there's another feeling that's saying like we just need to go for it. Like, what's the worst that can happen other right. than them stealing our identity? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> our identity. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ruin your life. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I said we should. I think we should just do it. So after we got our COVID test, um, and this kind of was like a surprise for us. So just to give you guys a timeline for those of you guys that have been keeping up with Kiana, this was right after the LA vlog. So we got back from LA, mm -hmm. maybe like a week or so, and then it was like Q business. Right. So once we got there, or I feel like maybe before we got there, I don't know, but at some point, basically before we were able to play, they told us that it's a possibility that we might just be standing. Well, um, because we were waiting for either somebody to not get it pa get past the first level, or for basically somebody not to show up, mm -hmm. just in case these two things happen, right. they had us waiting in the room. You know to be on the episode just yeah. in case they said we'll pay you we just in this room they provided food mm -hmm. uh me and kiana we got chairs <laughs> got right. some blankets i had my laptop <laughs> we pulled up netflix watched some new movies you know slept yeah. um mm -hmm. so we were actually standing yeah. you know we were not chosen for that day right um we were standing mm -hmm. and at that point i'm thinking like I thought we were on the show. Like I didn't tell my exactly. Mom, we didn't tell COVID told, tests. Right. I'm like you. We don't tell parents. everybody. Like we're right. on the TV show. Everybody that's close to us. Right. And I'm um, like, a standing. A standing. This, this is, is gonna be a great. This too. is gonna be embarrassing when we have to explain <laughs> right. this. So, so we um, literally were there from I think 7 a.m. Yeah. to like 10 p.m. at night. Literally, we were there all day. And then because it was COVID too. Like we were in a room and didn't have like windows or anything. It felt like you jail. couldn't go out and like hang out in the hallways because you know COVID. Like you cannot sit there and like just exactly. come in contact with people. They brought us our food. Yeah, you know, put Maybe it under the like, door. Knock on the door, right? <laughs> knock on the door. Your food is outside. Exactly. Right away and left. I'm like, right, right, this right. It's terrible. Like, it, like I said, we were there all day. And we were bummed because no we were yeah, nothing. Go ahead. We were so we were so. Like after like you know seven p.m. we like yeah, <laughs> right. we're not gonna be on the show. <laughs> right. we're and like, we're yeah. trying to listen in like to what the conversation out there. Could you hear like the other contestants coming um, in coming like in, clapping, like, clapping and stuff? And I'm here like, like at the door like what are they saying? <laughs> yeah. It was so sad. Must be nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> so um, that was our first day. So then they call us that night. Yeah. Uh, at around eleven even maybe yeah. midnight literally as soon as like we got to the house and was like okay like yeah at this point i don't know what's going on exactly so they call us and they say hey guys we're gonna have you all on the show i said wait are we gonna be standing they're like no we're gonna have you on the show mm -hmm. tomorrow you come in you know do your uh, hair makeup and all of that and we'll have you on the show we had a question on here that i think we should speak about right now oh. basically asking why do we choose those colors why do we wear what right. we wore yeah so that wasn't our clothes. Right, about <laughs> they did tell us to bring clothes the first day, so yes. we had some type of clothes, you know, prepared. Mm -hmm. However, I don't think they liked our clothes. Yeah, I don't think, I don't they, think liked they liked it. our colors. Yeah. And when we ended up coming the second day, like 
to actually perform. We actually came in something like this, like like a nice, like little neutral, because we knew like the colors that, like there's certain colors that you wear on TV to kind of like see. But not this light. We know yeah. not to wear white. Right, yeah, but it was something More like, we neutral. had like a little cute matching set, you know, so we can hear like, okay, like we about to be here styling and profiling. And then they come and talk about, so this is all you right. uh, brought or? <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, uh, and then maybe. I'm like, right, then I'm like, no, we have like orange, we have they blue. Said, Let me see. They're like, yeah, no. no. None of those are going to They said, work. try this on. <laughs> right. And I was sitting here like, ew, like this orange v neck, this so yellow. These, probably, these folks probably think we can't dress, Lord. Right. And then it was funny because our storyline was kind of like we met at McDonald's. So I was like, man, they look, you trying to play us with these colors. Well, like, they sure trying to was. get on us on the love. Sure <laughs> so, yes, to answer that particular question, no, we did not get to choose our tops. Um, our pants and, like, shoes and stuff were, was ours, but, um, Those yeah, tops were now. we did not get to pick our tops. <laughs> it would have been nice to get a nice little suit. That, right, that way it was right. <laughs> Another question, yeah. actually, was, too, about, um, like, makeup and stuff. So, mm -hmm. like Eli mentioned earlier, they did tell us to come like hair and makeup ready. There was a stylist there and a makeup artist. So, um, you know, I did what I could with my face, but she definitely basically beat it my face again on top of what I already had did. <laughs> right, and she put some on my face as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they touched up touched my, my hair. hair. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they touched up my hair and all that stuff. So, like, yes, we came prepared, but they kind of still did everything. For and let me anyway. just say, yeah. producers and everybody in the back, when I, like, we. We made it was our house at this yeah, point. Like we had a great Eli time. Is real like outgoing, talkative, bubbly. Even at six o'clock in the morning, we had so, a great time. We had a, <laughs> Eli had everybody back there cracking up. Listen, we we they they're literally our family. We follow some of these people on Instagram yeah. now. Like they're they, I mean just cool. Like even once we get to more stories later, like even they were even back there praying with us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all know he is the trip. Like this is all him. Fun. I I do you know joke and play around a little hey. bit. <laughs> hey, you too, you too. I do kind of encourage him and stuff, but yeah, he definitely. He's definitely he, an enabler. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now Eli was the star backstage boy. Listen, she's the looks though. <laughs> Thank but, you. She's the reason why we were there. Right. <laughs> So pretty much that's kind of like how we got on the show, the backstory to, you know, leading up to the actual day mm -hmm. um, of us getting ready to play the cube. Right. So now, I mean, we kind of had to get some of those stories out so y'all kind of understand the journey that we've been on. Mm -hmm. But now I think we have more questions that, you know, we can kind of answer at this point. One of the questions that you all ask is if I had to choose a different teammate, who would it be? Um... <laughs> I know y'all ain't trying to shame Eli. I mean, was he not shame. good enough? <laughs> <laughs> no, but on the real though, I honestly don't like. I feel like I chose the best teammate. Like me, like Eli and I. Like well, we've known each other almost like ten, 10 years. Exactly. You know, we work together. We've been in relationships together. Like all types of stuff. We've had our crate like we've been stuck in elevators together. We've been lost together. We've been doing everything <laughs> together. We got separated in man. New York together because he accidentally got on the subway in no, I didn't the North Pole. You actually didn't get on the subway. <laughs> we'll say that for another day. Oh, just no, know no. I ended up in right. Brooklyn while she was in Manhattan. Okay. Right. So just from here and the little bit that we have gone through together, um, I just feel like this was like the best option, honestly. Like. I just I feel like this, yeah, this is the best option. Like, I I don't, there's that. nobody else that I would have taken on the show. Was it, is there anybody else you would have taken on the show? Absolutely not. Oh, okay, good answer. Good and, answer. And, and, and no, honestly, there's. I don't think um, anybody would have. I don't think we would have gotten as far as we did if yeah. it wasn't for Kiana. Yeah. Because <laughs> hold on. Oh, oh no! I'm not, I didn't realize he was singing my praises. No. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. And we're not prideful over here now. <laughs> No, because there were certain like if you all remember that 50 50 game I was I was leaning more toward red mm -hmm. That's why I was looking at Kiana like she was crazy <laughs> And she's like no, I think it's the blue. I said go ahead and of course she got it right mm -hmm. that balancing thing I would lost all nine of our lives <laughs> all nine of our lives so 
Yeah, I, yeah. We, I think we just work really well together. Like, Absolutely. So there is no other teammate that I would have picked. Talk about life partners. We're right. legit <laughs> life partners. Exactly. So the next question is, how does it feel to be on television? Well, being that we're on television quite often. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the first time that we've ever been on television. Yeah, like, like the main character. Right? The main character. Even on the stage, really. <laughs> it was nice. It was yeah. nice. It, it was, was it was very nice. fun. Yeah. Um, our little fifteen minutes of fame. It was it was very yeah. fun. Um, I'm always interested in how things work, how things operate. Yeah, like so I was side. exactly. So yeah. I was having a ball backstage, just watching the cameramen work, yeah. watching the producers give um, direction. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just everything, yeah. everything. So I think that that was mm -hmm. more so the better part for me than actually seeing myself and thinking, although that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part was the experience. I would say for me, like you said, like we've been on like sets before, but it was definitely different. Like being the, like the main person, you know, like even getting mic and stuff. I'm like, oh my God, getting mic, like, them not talking when the cameras are not on or... redoing, touching up your makeup and right? hair between every <laughs> single break. Yeah. It was fun though, I felt like a celebrity, but at the same time too, like, because, I mean, I think you guys know me by now, like, I like to laugh, I like to have fun. For sure. So, like, and once the game started going, like, you really couldn't, like, see the camera, so I'm like, are the cameras on, are they off? We didn't. We were just up there. We never saw, we <laughs> never, I never saw a camera while I was on stage. Yeah. Um, we would, we literally would think that we're sitting here just having a regular conversation with yeah. D-Wade. And he's like, all right, Q. I'm like, wait, right. how long have we been, um, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> been filming? Right. been filming? Right. Exactly. So yeah. it was, they, and I liked how they did that because it made it feel, and then now mm -hmm. looking at it, it made it look more natural exactly. because we're just having conversations. He's asking questions, you know, we're asking him questions. Mm -hmm. And it just was an authentic, you know, exactly. and he just was a cool person. Yeah. You know, I don't know if that's one of the questions. Yeah, how was it being with yeah. the D Wade? Mm -hmm. He was just he a was cool amazing. person, man. Yeah. Like he went above and beyond and make like just make sure you feel like you're on the same level. Yeah. You know, um, was not Hollywood between breaks. Exactly. He would yeah. not go backstage. He'd come over and just talk to us. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah. The next question is, did you get nervous stepping into the cube? So you actually went first into the cube. How was that for you? Like I said before, I don't know what came over me, <laughs> but I felt comfortable, like mm -hmm. the backstage producers, you know, D-Wade, mm -hmm. everybody just made me feel extremely comfortable. Like yeah. I literally felt like I was at my house. Mm -hmm. So I was not nervous going into the queue, thankfully, because yeah. it would have been a different story. Um, I know for me, when I was able to go in, I think we went in together. And that for me kind of like made me really comfortable. Like I think had I played the first game first by mm -hmm. myself, like mm -hmm. I probably would have freaked out. Right. But I think because I was able to go into the cube with Eli and he, you know, did really good on the first game. So I'm like, okay, great. Like I'm pumped up. Like let's get this show on the road. So I was more so like excited than anything else. Now I will say when I played the game by myself, especially that balance game, <laughs> I was a little nervous. I right. was I was a lot of nervous. Like and what I told Eli is, like, I did track and stuff, like, in high school. Um, and just the nerves of, like, being on the starting blocks and waiting for the guns to go off. It was like that, but ten times worse, being in the queue. <laughs> because it's like, you don't know when the game is going to start. You don't know the next game. Right. You know, like, we didn't know anything. So right. it was just, each level, it just, the stress just intensified. intensified for right, right. The next question is, did you know the outcome of the other couples? So the answer to that is no. Um, we actually did not get to meet any of the other contestants. Um, we've seen a few of them like in passing, you mm -hmm. know, but we did not. COVID. Yeah, right. But yeah, we did not get to like be out in the audience and watch the other people play. Um, we did not, you know, really see anyone or meet anyone physically there that day. Um, we just seen, you know, each other in passing. Um, like we said, when you guys are out there playing the game, it's just you your partner and the host and the camera crew. Other mm -hmm. than that, you don't, you know, see anyone else or anything. So the next question is, now we're going to get more so into like the gameplay. Um, how hard was the decision to walk away from the $100,000? You want me to answer? <laughs> oh. We played a $100,000 game. Yeah. Okay, so, guys, we went for the $100,000. So, 
throughout the um i want to say maybe after like our third or fourth game i can't remember we took a lunch break basically so and i also have a clip from the lunch break so i'll go ahead and insert that at some point in this video mm -hmm. um so we took the lunch break and at this point we're like man we are on fire like we are killing these games right so i want to say after the lunch break that's when we went for the fifty thousand dollar game if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. went for the fifty thousand dollar game you know body fat we're like oh my we are on fire so before we even like got out to play any games or anything they showed us like the statistics as far as like you know how many people have won this amount how many people have won this amount x y and z and they were like guys when you all get you know start getting to the big money you guys should they probably leave yeah you guys should probably take the money and go exactly. they said <laughs> there was a lot of people that got up to the fifty thousand dollars but lost yeah. all their life and left mm -hmm. home with nothing. So they yeah. said, we're trying, we want to give y'all some money. Yeah. So the games look a lot easier. And then once you get in the cube, it's, it's a completely a different story. Um, and especially for multiple reasons. <laughs> but I know for like, well, in all the games, because all the games, the floor flashes red, right? So they have you in there staring at the floor. Like, okay, I'm waiting for it to flash red. I'm waiting for it to flash red. Mm -hmm. And I literally like, they build up the anticipation you know so i don't know i feel like they showed it on the show too so we're literally staring at the floor that long so i know for me my eyes are getting watery i my start daydreaming right? <laughs> like okay i'm like dang are they gonna and, start again and then right when you like forget about it basically exactly, flat. Right. Like, oh damn <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> so we go in for it we say they show us a hundred thousand dollar game mm -hmm. we're like okay cool we're Ooh, about to we can this. do this kiana yeah. you got this yeah i chose to play the game uh, malfunctioned, so the game pretty much broke. So at this point, we are um, in the you know break room. We go back to the break room because they're trying to figure out like, oh, okay, let's kind of put the game back together. So at this point, we're in the back, and I'm like, God, please just let this game stay broke. Like, there is no way at this point, I felt like after attempting the game, like that I was going to be able to move forward. <laughs> she was like, Eli, I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this. Was There's praying, no we were speaking in tongues. Yeah, right. So we go back out, um, cause they're like, okay, you know, we have some something figured out, like let's go back out into the stage or whatever. And basically they were just like, we can't fix the game. So we're gonna show you guys another game. And at this point, this was at like 11 o'clock, 11.30 at night. So we had been there all day. Granted, remember, we got there maybe at like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning the next day. Mm -hmm. um, so we had been there all day. So they were like, what we're going to do is, you know, it's been a long day. This game is broke. Like, there's nothing we can do about it. You guys just come back tomorrow and we're going to finish the show. So I'm Come like, back tomorrow. We'll present to you all another game. Yeah. You know, um, of equal value. Mm -hmm. And um, you can pick whether or not you want to yeah, take it or not. And at this yeah. point, we're like... Thank you, Lord. Right. Yeah, that's a second chance. <laughs> this, Literally. who do you know, you know, are, is in this position and the game breaks. Exactly. You know, that's what I'm saying. It was a God it thing. Really was. So they gave us another game the next day. And Kiana and I had a conversation that night and said, basically, if that game looks do it, because at this point, we're just yeah. like, we don't want to make this mistake again. Exactly. You know, like, I feel I like God has given us yeah. a second chance. Like, <laughs> let's just leave. Leave with that money. We were still like, it just depends on the game, though. It just depends yeah. on the game. Because we're still thinking, like, Being we have greedy. seven lives, and we still have our assists. So it just depends on the game. Like, so anyway, so the next day, we go back. Um, we're, they give us the same clothes. Obviously, you know, as you guys see, and, like, was if you guys didn't know the story, you would not have known that we went back the next morning. Um, so we go back the next morning, another early morning, 7 o'clock or whatever time. Um... And they show us the game. So after they showed us the new like hundred thousand dollar game, I was like, yeah, like count me out. I already know I can't do this one. So I'm looking at Eli like, okay. That's how I feel, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we both were defeated at that point. But like, that one hundred, I wasn't defeated. I was very happy. I said, okay, well, I'm about yeah, to leave and go right, home. But that hundred thousand right. dollars sounded really nice. We had seven yeah. lives. We still had an assist. So mm -hmm. I'm like. And this is after everything that we went through the day before. Like, I, that was a real, like, shake-up for me. Yeah. Like, I was like, ooh. We decided that we were not going to do it, and my butt went up there 
anyway. Right, I said, wait, this is not what we discussed. You said, uh, Eli? <laughs> I said, <mean>, yes. <laughs> I was say, I'm sure that y'all see me in there with my hands on my head, like, wait, I thought you said we was gonna walk. Like, what What just happened here? I guess he said he gotta go out with a bang. If I'm gonna go out, I'm going out with a bang. Yeah, he's, and that's literally <laughs> what I said. I said, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm about to go home. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm go home now. I ain't gonna do this game. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna give y'all some good TV. And I'm gonna walk up to the edge of that cube <laughs> like I am gonna play <laughs> and then turn around. So I knew I was gonna turn around before I, before I even got out there. Something that nobody told me to do that. The producers were like, is this dude serious? Dwayne literally was looking. We were up there for five minutes. He said, are you it sure? Was a stare. Y'all He's know like, the meme Eli. with uh, P. Diddy and the other guy with them staring like this? I said, yeah. <laughs> Dwayne was, was like, Eli, Eli are you sure? <laughs> He's literally like, bro. He's cousin Eli. From brother to brother, look at me in my eye. Are you sure this is what you want to do? I said, yeah. So the, all the producers, Dwayne, like this dude, stupid. And I'm sitting here just over here like that, and trying to play for TV. I'm like, I believe in you, but I'm like, and I know all this along. Nigga go up here, I'm about to breathe. I know all along I'm about to turn around. <laughs> I know all I along. I was so stressed. I'm like, you got me in here sweating out their little orange shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody, everybody sweating except me. Right. <laughs> but yeah. So, do we regret not paying or not playing the hundred thousand dollar game? Now. Yeah. Now. <laughs> I mean, I, we being honest. Now we are, but at the time, yeah. that's what made the most sense. We were still traumatized yeah. from the day before. Yeah. We felt like God was giving us another chance. And yeah. was like, let's let's leave with this money. Yeah. But now, you know, six, seven, eight months down the road. Yeah. We're like. $100,000, do something That show sounds good, and we show half the lives. I could've got me a new car. Because it was like, that, they said that uh, that game only took 4.8 yeah. lives, basically, so basically five, like five lives. lives. So we yeah. had two lives to spare from what was average. Yeah. And we also had our assist where Dwayne Wade could've done the game for us. Yeah. Out. Looking back, I, okay, let me tell y'all what it was for me, why I, I could not have uh, done that game. They said they're only going to show us the path for five seconds. Mm -hmm. I thought it was three. Was it five? You probably right. Basically, they were only going to show us a path for one a time of, sec of seconds, right? One time. One time. After you try the path, they don't show it to you again. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's what really got me. I was like, oh, okay. If they showed it to us each time, I'm like, oh, okay, definitely we would have had it. Right. Another thing that got me. And I'm mad because I seen someone else on the on the show play it. His first game. Yeah, it was his. So they're not gonna give you give us. Yeah. Basically, how his path was gonna be a lot simpler for a thousand dollars than ours, $1, where we're playing for a hundred thousand dollars. Exactly. Um, it was different. Yeah. Well, after seeing his, I was like, dang, we kind of could have did that. Yeah. But even when he did it on his thousand dollar game, it took him and about four still, tries. Yeah, still, still. Yeah. And his path was extremely easy from at that, home. Right from at home. Yeah, because that's another thing. Because you could see from at home, you could see the path from up top. From the bird's eye view. Yeah. When you're in the queue, remind y'all, we already told you, you know, how long it takes for the game to start. Your eyes are watering. You're sweating. So three to five seconds to exactly. see the path, that's not enough time exactly. <laughs> for $100,000. But another thing that I did not realize, which is something that I realized while watching the, uh, the other teammates, was I did not know that it was gonna light up as you go. I right. thought you had to basically do a path and end, and then it'll show you like where you if went you got wrong, her right? And with that, for me, I'm like, I can't remember, you know, the steps I took, you know, doing it multiple the times. first time, right. Right, so I'm like, how am I going to continue to remember that? But anyway, that's We what were overthinking. Yeah. I think because so because we were under a lot of pressure from the day before. Yeah, and, I think so too. But, and I was like, 50,000 sounds good. Like, we can do what we need to with this. Like, right. Do we need more? In hindsight, we say we regret it, but we, so we're thankful. We're, right? we're very thankful. You know, we're, um, we feel... While we regret not doing it, mm -hmm. we feel like we made the right decision. Exactly. We regret yeah. it, but we don't. Exactly. Because had we got out there and them lives started to dwindle down and we started getting closer and closer to zero or to one life, y'all would have seen a different side of Eli Keanu on the queue. <laughs> yeah. um, and that's kind of like going into the next question. So how did it feel to like lose lives? I think we only lost two overall. Yeah, we only lost two lives. Yeah. And one of them did not have to be lost, mm -hmm. which was the one for my first game. Mm -hmm. um, when I was, was turning the things around, yeah. which was in that promo video as right. well. 
I, th I thought I was done. Mm -hmm. So they kind of slow mo, but during that slow mo, I had paused, like, all right, cool, yeah. I'm done. And then I was like, oh, dang. And I did it again. So I had paused. If I, not, if I hadn't paused, I would have gotten that on the first try. Yeah, because even the way it was like, bro, what happened there? Like, you, you like, looked you like you kind of paused. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I did. And, um,. <laughs> Yeah, but when I lost that life, I wasn't like, oh damn! Yeah, I I lost say, life. Like we yeah. was into, we was at game yeah, four. Well, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And we I'm still had all of our lives left. I'm exactly. like, we, we could yeah. afford that life, right? And then the second life that we lost was the hexagon game, mm -hmm. and we had to walk to the center. Um, I didn't mind losing that life either, but I will say, I think we could have got it the second time without using the simplify, and I feel like. Had we not used the Simplify you on that used game, that for the we would have definitely went for the one hundred thousand dollar game and simplified that. But I mean, you know, that's not what we did. So. <laughs> but I didn't realize how close we were to being in the hexagon. If I regretted anything, it would be used and I simplified. <laughs> um. So the next question is: Do you guys or are you guys going to invite D Wade to the wedding? Um. I feel like if he had come, we will invite him. Now, I made like a little tweet on Twitter and I'll insert that, you know, somewhere on here as well. And he was like, send the invite. So I feel like he said it on TV. Mm -hmm. He said it on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I feel like he. So you guys are just going to have to find out. Make sure you subscribe yeah. to this YouTube channel. <laughs> no, seriously. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube, to YouTube channel and you will know. Yeah. But when we get married. Yeah. If D Wade and Gabrielle Union <laughs> right? <laughs> comes, listen, that has been my focus the whole time. Comes like, to the wedding. Yeah. So. But yeah, no, that has been my focus the whole time. I'm like, D Wade is so nice to meet you, but is your wife anywhere around? You know. <laughs> no, I was like, D Wade, so nice to meet you, but the money. <laughs> <laughs> so the next question is, what do we plan to do with the money? With the money, we plan to do what we said on the TV show. <laughs> So no that figure. is right. Get married, get a house, um, make some of this money back, invest it or something, you know, so that way we're not just throwing money here and there. Exactly. Um, but, I don't like making money that I can't come right, make it back. Exactly. But pretty much what we said on the show. I have to subscribe to keeping up with Kiana. Make Keanu. sure you subscribe <laughs> to keeping up with Kiana and we will post a video. Right. Because we that. will document all of that, you know, stuff when the time comes. Um, another question was do you guys have the money now? No. Um, no, we don't have the money. If you guys seen like the little reel or the video I made on Instagram, all money. that money was fake. <laughs> we do not have the money yet and will not have it for some months after and um, all of the this, show aired. All of this was in the contract. So yeah. we knew when we played Ford and won mm -hmm. that we would not get it for a certain amount of time. So the next question is, what advice would you give to someone who decides to go on the queue? Be re as relaxed as possible. Yeah. Because for me, I know for me and for you know some other people, when you're nervous, mm -hmm. you don't perform your best. Yeah. However, when you're relaxed, and it's like, oh, I'm just doing this at home, you know, mm -hmm. then you can do it. When you have, for well, some people work well under pressure. I know yeah. my type, I don't work well under mm -hmm. pressure. So just try to, and like I said, they made it very easy for us. Just yeah. try to decrease as much pressure or take away as much pressure as possible right and the advice that i would give is just go in there have fun be yourself but don't be greedy <laughs> like once you don't start getting up to the big money like just go what you have to realize is like you came on the show with zero dollars mm -hmm. you know like this is a free opportunity for you yeah, you can be twenty thousand dollars richer you can be ten thousand dollars richer like you don't have to keep going you came in there with zero you can leave with you know ten twenty fifty thousand dollars like you don't have to beat the queue as americans we yeah. take way more risk than they did in the uk yeah. on their <laughs> show they like people in the uk be like deuces i got fifty thousand i got exactly. twenty thousand yeah. dollars they said here yeah, we gonna here. go for it yeah. do i feel like we could have beat the queue but have we kept going probably i i think so i think so but i would have stopped that one hundred thousand dollars. oh yeah yeah <laughs> right because the 250 you you weren't you're not allowed to use it if you still have both yeah, your assists you can't, you use, can't it. use that yeah um however it is one of the games that you had done previously yeah, but, but they, they make, make it more it difficult times harder. Yeah, yeah but I, I agree have we made it to the hundred thousand dollar game I would have just, you know, stopped there. Like, I don't even need the 250000 I'm good. But, um... No, I'm <laughs>
Yeah. Oh, just know I would be very satisfied and well taken care of with the hundred thousand dollars as well, or even the fifty. Like I'm very satisfied with that. But um, we yeah. gonna make it do with it. We gonna we gonna make it two hundred fifty thousand dollars. How about that? It, and that's the key right there. <laughs> definitely a very fun experience and we are grateful to have been a part of the cube now we have a little like cube family we and we have memories to last us a lifetime Damn. but now that we are done with the q a i'm going to go ahead and insert some clips from our watch party some behind the scenes clips um i don't know we just have like a lot of clips from the cube so instead of making that a separate video i'm just going to go ahead and insert that now Thank you guys for keeping up with Kiana. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any additional questions or want to know more, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Alright guys, so it is a couple days before the game show. We have to get COVID tests. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I know I'm like, I'm a little nervous, but... Here we are, we gotta do what we gotta do. So we are getting ready to walk into the studio um, for our COVID test. Wish us luck. <laughs> All right guys, so the day has finally come. We are here at the, the queue. queue. I'm excited, are you nervous? No. I'm nervous, <laughs> but You're I'm excited, excited though. Yeah, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. I think it'll be a really fun experience, but Wish us luck, y'all. No, oh, I thought somebody was coming. I kind of just woke up. That's why I looked away. Yeah, but wish us luck. Um, it hopefully, is, it is seven o'clock in the morning. Yes, very tired, but very excited. So, wish us luck. I'm really excited to play and just really just have fun. I think that's the biggest thing that we want to do today is just have fun and of course win some money but and we'll see you guys at the watch party ah. Ah. Right, guys, we are about to go on the queue So we are currently on, on a lunch break. Can we we're, tell them how good, if we're doing good know, or not? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Still have all nine of my lines. Right, and two. No, so what happened was I thought I was done, so I paused. You said what happened, babe? No, I thought I, thought I was done, so I paused. You know what I'm saying, I'm not done. I just got done on the first one. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye